Hello there, just wanted to go over the uh, interface uh, that my software engineer and I have been working on for the last couple of days. Just wanted to bring a couple of extra little features um, since we did the initial prototype. So firstly, uh, when the amp's powered down, that is completely powered down, so it's got no electricity going into the back of it. Um, obviously the lights will be off. Um, applying electricity to the back with the switch will bring the, the amplifier on into standby mode. Uh, pressing the button once and bring it out of standby mode into on mode uh, so there's a muting circuit also in the amplifier so the amplifier is muted while it goes through its power up phase and uh, checks everything's good um, across all of the sensors um, and that means you don't get a pop at the, at the speakers conversely when you press it to go back up again again it goes through a shutdown mode it takes a moment or two just to check everything's okay um, discharges the cap caps adds the muting circuit and um, lifts um, lifts the power supply to, to the actual amplifiers so that stays there in standby mode uh, there is a, a second way of powering the amp on and off and that's using the 12 volt trigger which is around the back of the amplifier um, if you have that plugged into your AVR and you switch your AVR on the um, the uh, amplifier will obviously switch into into on mode um, at that point this front button would be locked out so as long as your AVR was on you wouldn't then be able to switch the amplifier off switching uh, switching off here you would just get a, a, a sort of a, a double flash uh, double red flash on the button to say that you were in AVR mode and um, you need to switch your AVR on and off um, there are a couple of other things on the amplifier which uh, which are quite handy uh, we've added a clipping circuit so if you're starting if you're getting a clip on the input signal uh, this uh, button will flash red uh, in line with the clipping signal so obviously the more clipping that you get that you know the more red flashing that, that you get uh, that hopefully is just allows you to set the level correctly on the amplifier uh, so that uh, you know what your absolute limit is um, there's also a programming mode as well so uh, whether you're off uh, or whether you're on uh, like this you'll be able to press and hold the button in for two seconds goes into programming mode sorry I hadn't got it pressed down there properly I'm sort of reaching around the, the amplifier here now you can see once it goes into programming mode it's now cycling through various brightnesses uh, when you get to the brightness that you're happy with there's going to be three or possibly four levels you then just let the button go and that then remembers that setting for you and that that um, remembers that setting um, you know when I switch the amplifier off and switch it back on again is remember that level setting also if I completely power the unit down I'll just uh, pop it in standby first um, power the unit down power the unit back up again switch it back out standby mode standby mode and again you can see that you've got it um, remembered at the new level there we can set that at the brighter level if you want so just hold the button in set that at the brighter level and, and that's it now so that's obviously quite bright probably brighter than uh, most people would require so we'll just take that down couple of notches one two notches there we go uh, so uh, I've gone through the clipping mode with you uh, there's um, uh, another error another couple of error detections that we've got on here which uh, would be displayed here um, firstly we've got uh, temperature so um, I've just jewelry rigged it slightly here so I can um, tell the board that the temperature has gone up uh, and you can see what happens uh, just turn this pump so you probably can't hear here but the fans come on first when you reach quite a high temperature so you can see we've got the fans on there they're very quiet fans I mean they, they wouldn't be coming on until the amplifier was very hot in the first place uh, and at that point you would be absolutely at full blast with the amplifier uh, and so it would continue to raise that temperature and you get an error on here so you get a double flash and a pause, double flash, pause, double flash, pause. And that's just shut the amplifier down so that the amplifier can cool down. Um, as I say, under normal operation, this is extremely unlikely to happen. However, you know, if you've got a box that's full of 500 watt modules uh, and, uh, you know, you've got it plugged into, you know, two ohm speakers and you're absolutely caning them, um, you know, then there is a chance that you can overheat uh, just because a class D amplifier is very efficient. It doesn't mean that it doesn't produce heat. 
Anyway, when we get to the point that just cools back down again, it just goes back into standby mode. As you can see, we're just back on red and we're then able to switch it back on again. If we're still warm, you'll see that the fans will, will look well. You can probably hear the fans have gone back on again. That will continue to bring it under control and eventually the fans shut down. Um, so there you go. Uh, bear with me. Just not Sorry, I'm reaching around and I've knocked the power. Um, uh, so there you go. Let's put that back into on. Um, one more uh, major error mode is that the, uh, the the modules detect DC. So if uh, if for whatever reason you you, uh, you know, put DC into the amplifiers in the first place from your source, or if for for some reason or another one of the amplifier modules goes DC, obviously you don't want DC on your speakers, and so we've uh, rigged the amplifier to shut down. Uh, I'll just demonstrate that for you. Sorry about that. I keep reaching around and knocking the power. Uh, right. I'll just switch that back on again after having knocked the power. Sorry about that. So I'm just going to show you the DC. So this would what be what happened. That triggers that off. You get a flash and a pause. Flash and a pause. Flash and a pause. Uh, and the the amplifier um, can't um, can't come back out of standby after that. Uh, after that, you would have to switch the amplifier off uh, for uh, a minute. I think it is. I'll confirm that uh, later on. Um, but about a minute. So we we'll take the take the power away, and uh, and that would be that. For, um, that would be something that you would need to investigate if you were getting DC. I mean, it may, it may be that you just get it once. You just get a quick flash from your, um, you know, from your input, whatever DAC you're using or, or whatever. Um, but if you get sustained DC, then that's something that you need to come back to us about. So we can either check your amplifier out or you can check out your uh, your source. Uh, the last thing you want is DC appearing at your speakers, which is why we've given you this, uh, th th this shutdown. Um, so, so, yeah, just, just make sure... Um, if you've got any comments about uh, some of the things that I've just said now, especially with the interface bits and pieces, um, then please do come back to me. It'd be great to hear what your thoughts are. Um, there aren't any other amplifiers out there that uh, that have got this um, simple, uh, yeah, informative uh, interface uh, that are using these modules um, anywhere near this price back. I mean, certainly our competitors that are using similar boxes um, don't have uh, this sort of functionality. Um, so we we hope that because we had the forethought to um, you know bring put a master control unit um, on the um, on our PCB uh, you know we've been able to bring a few extra bells and whistles to the to the party. Okay, thanks ever so much, and I shall look forward to getting your amps to you in the next couple of weeks. Bye.